hello guys welcome to my channel this is nitin power in my last video i shown you how you can create your link services in this video we'll learn about how you can create your first pipeline where you can access the data from your blob storage so log into your azure data factory resource now this time we have to go to your author here you can see that pipeline is there if you click on three dots you can see that new pipeline click on that new pipeline here you can see that different options available for you activities so i'll show you firstly move and transform over here we are using the copy data activity just drag and drop on this canvas so here you have to provide the source the target sync means the target where you want to from which source you want to copy the data where you want to paste that data and what are the mappings so i'll show you one by one how you can do that so firstly name you if you want to change the name you can change from here i'll say copy data on here click over here name copy data description if you want to provide any description what will be the retrieve interval in seconds so that it will again dry after 30 seconds so i'll go to my source here you have to provide the data set as in, in my previous video we have not created we just created the link services we have not created the data set so here if you have already created the data set you can click over here from the data set or you can click on the new and my data set would be again blob storage so click on the azure blob storage continue what will be the file format so i want a csv as a my file format click over there then click continue then name and the link services so name i will say csv files the link services in my previous video as i shown you we have already created the link services blob connection just click over there here you can provide the file path also from which that this file should get picked so click on the browse so it will go to your connection then try to see where what are the files available for you there so you can see that in my blob storage i'll have the source as a container and the target as a container you can see that source and target are there so those two folders you can see over here so what i want i want file should be picked up from the source and this source file should be there so select that file click on ok yes first row as a header yes my file has a header and it's a first row then click on ok so this way you have provided your source details You can go and check that whether other things are you want to provide or not then if you provide that click on the sync in sync also you need to create a different data set either way you can use the same data set or you can create a different data set what i will do i will create a new data set again i'll say azure blob storage click continue I'll say it's a delimited file CSV. Click OK. Here I'll say target CSV. And this time my connection is the same. Just I would change the folder location. Click on that. Go to the browse. Go to the target. Now here either way you can select that or directly in the target i want that file so i'll say that in the 
target directly populate that file over here again first row as header then click ok so what will happen this pipeline once we run this pipeline it will take the data from my source csv file and put it into my target csv location you got it now once you've done that go to your mapping there is no other mappings are there in setting you can check that what are the different settings available for you but as we are just progressing i won't be bothering about other details these are the only two details which are important source and the sync for this copy activity then when you've done all the things you just have to debug it means you want to see whether it's running fine or not or either way you can validate it then publish this pipeline and then again you can check it so we'll do one by one what we can do we'll validate it your pipeline has been validated it don't see any error now suppose if i publish my pipeline so you can see that publish three so it has the copy data and my data set i'll say publish now it's publishing my pipeline see publishing completed so once it is done in this pipeline you can go to your add trigger now you can click on the trigger now in trigger now you just click on ok now you will get a pop-up that is running where you can check that whether your pipeline is running successfully or not you go to your monitor now here you can see that my copy data pipeline is running and it's in progress once it is finished we can see that the status gets changed to completed now you can see that it succeeded if i hit on refresh now it's succeeded now how i can check that whether my data is populated over there or not in my source i'll show you first the source file so this is my source file if i click here and go down and click on edit you can see that this is my source file it have four records now if i go to my target and check see here that file is populated you can see the date also 271 and here click on that file click on the edit now you can see that the file has been copied from one location to another location using your azure data factory so what we learn in this video how you can create your data set source data set target data set and how you can create your first pipeline to copy the data from source to target so if you have any questions on this do let me know i'll try to answer those questions meanwhile enjoy your day bye